Hello everyone. In this video, let us discuss about Stack Overflow in Recursion. Stack Overflow is a most frequent issue in recursion and it will result in program crash. Let us see what is Stack Overflow and how can we avoid it. As we have learned, all the function calls are stored in Stack for its execution. And after the function's execution it will be removed from the Stack. But the Stack can hold only finite number of function calls. Let us say n which means the stack has the capacity to hold n function calls. And when the number of function called exceeds n, it will result in stack overflow. In recursion, every recursive call will be pushed into the stack for execution. So in recursion, there are many chances that it can overflow the stack. Let us understand it with examples. First, if there is no base case, there will be infinite function calls and it will cause stack overflow. To understand it better, let us remove the base case from this factorial function and see what will happen. If we take n as 5, then the recursive calls will be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1, minus 2, etc. and it will never end. So at some point in time, it will overflow the stack memory and result in program crash. So the recursive function should have the base case. The second case when stack overflow can happen is when the recursive call does not align towards the base case. Let us see how. Let's modify the recursive call to factorial of n plus 1 instead of factorial of n minus 1. Now what will happen? If we take n as 5, the recursive calls will be 6, 7, 8, 9 and it will never end. And this will eventually overflow the stack and result in program crash. So that's it. We have learned the stack overflow with suitable examples. So to avoid stack overflow, we need to design the recursive function carefully with proper base case and recursive call. Hope you have enjoyed the video. We'll see you in the next video. Thank you all.